today's show of full throttle. We are currently on episode five. Uh, now I know I haven't recorded anything on the channel for a while, uh, mainly just because I haven't really been in the uh, video mood. Um, so, and I've been kind of having a little bit of a break. Children haven't been the wellest at the moment, so I've been looking after them. But uh, I am back. And we are going to be talking about not so much a new car. Uh, it's part of the next gen GTA, but it's not new as in just coming out. Um, it's definitely not in this uh, this event week's drip feed list. Um, but it is the the Class A. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, drift Tampa. Now. Um, you'll see a little bit later on in this video that um, we are going to be discussing iconic film vehicles. I have got uh, six, I think. I think it's six um, vehicles that we'll be looking at. They're not new, to be fair. I think the most newest one is. Um, I won't say. I'll, leave, I'll give it a surprise for when you actually see them on the video. Um, but they'll be appearing at some point. Um, me recording this, like me talking, isn't at the same time as the footage you are seeing. They're recorded two different times because of, like I said, personal reasons. However, anyway, on to the subject. The Declasse Drift Tampa. Um... Starting at the price of nine hundred and ninety-nine, no, nine hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. I think it is. Um, it's not a cheap car, <coughs> um, but it's very, for me, for my opinion, it's very worth it if you are looking for. Um, good cars to have in a collection um, because it is quite to me personally it's quite unique of a car um, give you a little bit of a description of it from um, from wherever this is from uh, the Deglace Drift Tampa is a sports car featured in GTA Online Next Gen Added to the game as part of the 1.35 Cunning Stunts update on July 19th, 2016. Like I said, it's not new, but it's not the oldest. Uh, the Drift Tampa can be purchased from Southern San Andreas Super Autos from $995,000 and it can be stored in your personal garage. In your garage, brackets, personal vehicle. Um, now, the word drift in the title, can it drift? I'd pretty much say so. If you know how to do it right, you can get some pretty decent looking drifts. Um, but if you're going fast enough, and if the road is empty enough, and the corner is long enough, so rather than just a straight 90 degree turn, if it's a very curved turn, going at good speed, you don't even you need to press the handbrake to get a drift out of it. The back end just comes out anyway, and we'll probably see that at some point, hopefully, <coughs> in the footage behind this. Um, I did try and put it in... I mean, I have put it in the Iconic Films section because I watched um, Fast and Furious 7... No, eight. I think it was. I think no, I think it was seven. No, eight. Um, and it appears at the end where it's all icy and a submarine. I'm sure a lot of you will be able to tell from me which one that is. Um, yeah, it appeared in that. And I re when I'm watching it, I realised. Tell you what, that car's in GTA. I'm gonna get it and put it into my iconic films section because not a lot of people would think of it. <coughs> 
Um, a lot of people were using the Hellcat, no, the Hellfire, um, in lime green for Brian's one. Um, but no, not, not a lot of people, I don't think, will think of that. Um, the handling, because of the whole drift part, it is quite tail happy at some points. Um, but if you know how to control it, it's very good at driving. Um, the price is a bit, it's a bit up there. Um, but it is a lot of fun to drive around in, just for driving really. Um, but I'm probably, I'm not going to put it up against <coughs> any other sports cars because I think it's pretty obvious that um, that the Pariah and Italy GTO are the two fastest. Um, I haven't really come across, I do races a lot, I haven't come across anyone using any other car that might match it. Um, I am coming across quite a few motorcycles that can win races if you know how to do it properly, but we'll come across that um, a little later on in the episodes. Um, yeah, performance wise, it's not. If you, I mean, if you're doing custom races and you take out Pariah and Tally and maybe a third possible top fastest, um, it could do probably pretty well, especially if you've got it fully customised and everything. Take out them two, and it'd be a good contender. Um, Suspension-wise, it is quite low. It's low anyway. But you put the suspension down, you're practically scraping it across the floor. But obviously, low suspension helps with the traction. So, um, tyres, wheels, you can colour the stock wheels um, by doing that whole glitch thing. Um, I haven't, I've just gone for a standard. I, I just, I don't go for them, I just, I like having unique wheels. Um, I did start off with it being sort of off-road tyres in quite stealth vehicle, um, but then I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and put it into a film version. The paint that I need is actually in one of the metals, I think it's the dark, I want to say dark aluminum or something, I think, I think it's gold. It's not the gold ones, it's the second of the silver grey ones, whichever one that is. Um, but I can't because I need to win a rally race and I haven't done that yet. Not because I can't win it, just because who's doing rally races nowadays? Um, upgrades or customise, not a lot really. There's no body kit, no spoilers, no exhausts. The only thing you can do is obviously the armour, brakes, track, um, transmission, all that standard stuff. Uh, the wheels, you can change the wheels obviously. Uh, the window, even though the only window that gets tinted is the very back, <coughs> so I don't know how keen you guys would be on doing that. Um, what else is there? You can't do skirts. There's no hood options. You can take off the liveries, which I'm very happy about, because some cars with liveries, I think, just look better without them. So. Um, the overall appearance looks very nice. There are actually, in case you didn't know, like in case you're quite new to the GTA um, area, there's actually three different tampers. You got a stock version, which is just a standard on the road version, the drift version, and a weaponized version, which is like the stock standard version. But you can add like the um, ball bars, armor plate in, weapons, bunkered stuff like that on it. Um, <clears throat> which would be okay, but nowadays with the Oppressor Mark II, <clears throat> there's not really any point because I'm pretty sure you can take it out with one missile. So, a lot of vehicles that have armor are kind of pointless now because of that. Um, but that might be something else that we get onto. Um, 
trying to think of anything else. I need to do lists, really, of an <coughs> of everything I can think of. Um, I mean, hopefully you guys are enjoying the my lovely driving in the background. I'm probably sure I've crashed a few times by now. Um, the speed is not actually that bad. I managed to... I was driving this around uh, yesterday. Oh, uh, no. No, I was uh, driving it around earlier today, actually, um, once we're recording this, and there was a guy in a Zentorno who was driving away, and I didn't, I didn't catch him, but I was able to keep up. He was quite far, as, he was quite a bit away, because we went down different roads, but I didn't catch him, but he couldn't get away from me, so either it's faster than it looks or it depends on how you drive um, and obviously the mods, not the mods, the um, customizations that you have on the vehicles um, but overall appearance I love how it looks I wish I wish there was some stuff you could do to the actual body itself. Kind of around the arches on the back wheels. I don't like how they're very... they look very thin and basic and boring. I wish you could kind of like make them a bit more streamline, boxy, I don't know. Just I wish you could do something to it. Uh, but you can't you, can't, you can literally do nothing to it. So, I'd probably say only get the car if you definitely want it as a kind of collection kind of thing. Performance wise, with the current cars in the sports class, it's not going to be winning any races. Unless you completely get rid of the Pariah and the Tagajicha, then maybe you probably can. Um, but it's not going to be winning any races against them too. Um, <clears throat> but it would just be a case of get the car if you are going for the collection part. If you're trying to find the f fastest cars for races, don't have it in that. Don't have it in that section. It, it will not win races. It will win probably custom races where you can select what vehicles you can have and get rid of. But if you're not going to be doing many custom races or you're not going to be having it as a as a collector's item, I would have to say don't bother getting it because unless it's them two reasons, you're not going to be getting any worth out of it. Um. But, I'd say if you do drive it, go easy on the corners, it doesn't take much for it to spin out, the tiny, tiniest clip of a bumper of another car and you go, you, you're spinning. So, uh, but I'm going to leave it there with you guys, leave it up to you, let you decide and I will see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed listening and watching my amazing driving. Uh, and I will see you next time. Please comment any vehicles that you would like me to do little reviews on. Um, or any other suggestions you want me to do. If you want to see races, if you want to see just random. Because how I record these videos, the footage that you're watching, I use a live stream on the Xbox called Mixer. If you want me to just upload random streams, let me know and I'll do that. Because I get up to some pretty weird stuff. It's pretty random most of the time, but yeah. Uh, but leave any suggestions you want me to do. Like, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I will be doing a reaction to any of those who are here for the reactions. Um, to, the sec to a trailer of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse number 2. So I will be doing that probably either tonight or tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow, depending on what happens. Um, but I will see you next time, and bye-bye. Uh,